next problem we're going to do is number 11. So we're going to write the structure for CLF3. Again, repetitive, repetitive of the math we're going to do. So we're going to do CL, which is in 7A, and F, which is also in 7A, and F3, remember, V for valence, P for probable. So the single chlorine atom is going to have seven valence electrons. A single chlorine is going to have seven, but there's three of them. So I'm going to multiply by three to get a total of 21. And when I add that together, my total number of valence electrons um, should be 28. Again, I'm going to use the chart to figure out each one of these is going to be eight probable times the subscript of three to get 24. Add those together to get 32. So now I have my valence electrons and my probable electrons. To figure out the number of bonds, I do 32 minus 28, which gives me 4. And divided by 2 gives me 2 bonds. So my math is telling me to predict that I'm going to have 2 bonds in my structure. Now to figure out the central, chlorine and fluorine are very close together. But logic tells us that if there's one chlorine and three fluorines, most likely the one chlorine's in the middle and the three fluorines are around it. Now when we look at this structure, there's a major problem. There is no possible way to connect three atoms with only two bonds. So this is a case where the math doesn't work out. So when that happens, and there's a reason, we'll see, just connect them using single bonds. There's no reason to put a double bond in there. If the math doesn't work out, you just ignore it, and you connect everything in the most logical way using single bonds. Now the last thing I have to check is my total number of valence. I'm only showing six valence right now, but I see that all of these fluorines need six more electrons to complete their octet, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then I'm going to look and see that, what is my total at this point? So I have two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I'm showing 24, I need 28. Now that's four electrons. I have four more electrons, but I really only have space for two. The reason why the math didn't work out is this is a special type of Lewis structure that has something called an expanded octet. We talked about it in the PowerPoint. What that means is exactly what it sounds. One of the elements has more than eight in their octet. Now, it only makes sense that the one that has more than eight is the chlorine because it's a single one. So when that happens, you draw, kind of like Mickey ears, two sets of electrons evenly spaced on the one single atom, the one that's by itself, the central. Um, so you go ahead and you look, and chlorine now has an expanded octet, but I'm still showing um, the correct number of valence, the correct number of bonds, et cetera, and so forth. On a quiz or a test, I would tell you that the structure has an expanded octet in the beginning. 